many people go through life not knowing what their purpose is meant to be. For Raymond Paul Lessing, he found his purpose a little later in life, joining the military at the age of 28 years old. Before joining the military, he held a couple of different jobs, such as pumping gasoline, landscaping, and fast food. His reason for joining the military was more career-based and felt that flying aircraft is what he was meant to do. Lessing was born in Somerville, New Jersey, to Ken and Barbara Lessing. His father was a deputy and his mother was a secretary. Out of his two brothers and one half-brother, he was the only child of and member of his family to join any branch of the military other than his grandfather who served in the Navy. Before joining the military, he went through many different schools such as Montgomery High School, Salt Lake Community College, and Utah Valley State University. He also had started his own family before joining the military. He had a wife, two, almost three children at the time, and that impacted his life greatly when he had to leave them behind. Some of the first places Officer Lessing was stationed at were Fort Riley in Kansas, where he learned basic pilot skills and certain medevac or air ambulance missions. He also went to Fort Sill in Oklahoma, where he performed missions dealing with the civilian population and their needs. Some reasons he joined the military were that he wanted to get a job where he could fly an aircraft because that's what he loves doing, so he wanted to make a career out of it. And he realized that the best option for him to get the most flying time was to join the military, specifically the Army, so that he could spend more time with his family, rather than spending months out on a ship for the Navy away from his family. So it was a process of elimination for the Army. When he first got into the Army, he went through basic training, as every soldier must do. And right after that, he went straight to Warrant Officer Candidate School, where he learned to become an officer. He learned certain skills such as war tactics, flight tactics, and war history as well. After that, he went on to start flight school, where he was finally going to learn how to be an Army pilot. The first aircraft he flew was a helicopter. Everyone in flight school starts out with a standard helicopter, and then some move on up and may be lucky to fly a fixed-wing aircraft. A more typical part of high school flight school was learning how to fly instruments where you fly up in the clouds using only the technology in the plane to guide where you are going because you cannot see where you are going and next you learn how to fly with night vision goggles which allow you to see up in the clouds or at night when there is no light he found this to be a more fun time than others because he enjoyed being able to see at night even though he had many fun times and exciting experiences in flight school. It was a year-long course, so he was feeling a little homesick and missing his family. And he even had one of his children born while he was away. So it was a very difficult for him to divvy up his time, whether he had to study for his flying or calling his family. He had a lot of tough decisions to make while spending time away from his loved ones. Throughout his training and military experience, he went through many different instructors and officers that led him to where he is today. More importantly were the people that got close to him like fellow pilots that helped him when he first got into the army. He made multiple friends that took him under their wing and some he lost along the way, but the lessons they gave to him stayed with him the most and helped throughout the rest of his life. His first assignment after going through basic training and other different military training schools was being stationed at Fort Rucker, Alabama, where he attended Warrant Officer Candidate School. Then right after he com completed his time in that, he moved on to flight school. He attended flight school, still in Fort Rucker, Alabama, and learned how to fly a UH-1 Huey Blackhawk helicopter. Then he moved on to flying the UH-60 Blackhawk when he graduated flight school. Officer Lessing also received some specialized training in the Army. Some types that he learned are electronic warfare, officer ALSE, aviation life support equipment, and he trained as a flight instructor, which today is what his current job is for the Army. He has been a flight instructing for the past 17 years at Fort Indian Town Gap, but he also has worked as an aviation safety officer. Throughout his military career, though he had many struggles, including physical struggles, mental struggles, and lots of hard times, Physically, he went through lots of tough instructors that made him do lots of push-ups and sit-ups, but mentally, he was challenged because of the fact that he had a family and didn't get to see them. Also, he went through an experience in training where he had to go into a gas chamber and hold his breath to see how long he could last if he were in that situation in war. Also, there was a time where he became spatially disoriented in flight Luckily, his co-pilot was able to recover his mistake and help him regain consciousness. He definitely went through some hard times being in the Army,
but is it, it is important that he did so, so he would be prepared for the worst possible circumstances. But he also had some easy times in the army and fun times. For instance, he got to do what he loved to do, which is to be up in the clouds and fly. Also, what makes it even better is that they pay him to do it, so it doesn't even feel like work when he's doing what he loves. He says, in an aircraft and You break ground and you're kind of free. Some of the places that he's been able to serve are at Fort Leonard Wood in Missouri, Rucker in Alabama, and Riley in Kansas. But he also went overseas a couple of times, serving in Korea, where he served with the 2nd Infantry Division. Also, he went through a tour of Kuwait and Iraq for the Army. He even finds some events humorous. There is always something funny to laugh about, and guys are always doing something funny. Their brotherhood and bond between them are what allows them to have this. It makes all the hard times easy. Officer Lessing even got to fly the cast of the show Jag around in his helicopter. Officer Lessing loved meeting new people. Overall, he loved his job. He got to fly his helicopter coast to coast. A very meaningful part of Officer Lessing's service was during his time flying patients to hospitals, and one time a patient was badly wounded. He was trying not to look at the patients so he could focus on flying and not get caught in the emotional aspect. Well, this time he was looking out the cockpit door and saw the patient, and the patient said thank you. It meant a lot to him and really made his job more meaningful, and he felt as if everything he did was more important than before. Some locations he loved were Fort Rucker, Alabama. He liked it so much he would go back there. Officer Westing also thinks Korea is lots of fun. It was a very beautiful place and is similar to the U.S. It was a very interesting nation to him. The average height there was 5'6", and he was a 6'7 Caucasian, so he got lots of attention. Kids were getting the most fun out of it. Kids on the bus with him would slowly scoot closer to him so their friends could get a picture. He always found this comical. He even did learn, though, that the older and younger generation has different feelings about the Americans. The older generation loved and respected the Americans because of the Korean War. They were very welcoming, unlike the younger generation, who would protest to kick the Americans out of the country. One generation knew the impact America made on Korea. But overall, he got to love the country because he loved seeing other cultures and he enjoyed the Korean culture. He also did some training in Hawaii. One place he hated was the Middle East because one big desert. He hated the desert. There was nothing but dirt and sand for miles. But some better parts were Erbil, Iraq, where he where there were green hills, mountains, and trees. He was very shocked when he found out it was the combat zone. So that was one beautiful part about being in the Middle East. Now the states were also fun. He goes to the Northeast because that's where he is from, but when he retires, he wishes to move south. A message Officer Westing would like to leave for future generations is the military is not for everyone, but it is a great honor if you do. Some pay with the ultimate sacrifice and they pay with their lives. He hopes the next generation understands what that means and how big of a deal it is. There are so many cemeteries overseas filled with American soldiers. Military has become part of his life and is so meaningful to him. He spent more than half his life serving and is grateful he did get to come home to his family, unlike some of his other friends. Officer Weston believes if he didn't join the military, he'd be towards the end of his career in the flying industry. But it would take him much longer to get there and it would have been much more difficult. But overall, he truly doesn't know where he'd be. Throughout his service, he always carried a flag with him around the world, and it's very valuable to him. So from the brotherly bond made with his comrades, to the kids taking pictures of the 6-7 guy on the bus, Officer Lessing loves serving and still loves serving his country in the Army. It has a huge impact on his life and is super meaningful to him. He hopes all future generations will understand how big of a sacrifice it is to leave your family and serve your country. Also, that every pilot, soldier, or any other member of the military will be able to come back to their families one day. And people will truly be able to understand the ultimate sacrifice that comes with the military lifestyle. We would like to thank Officer Lessing for his service.